think for just a few minutes about doing family worship together. While we can't meet together physically on a Sunday, it provides a brilliant opportunity for families to come together and to read the Bible and pray on a Sunday. And before I get any further, I think it's worth saying that the two things that I am sure are universally true of parents uh, is that we are all tired and we all feel guilty. If you're not feeling guilty uh, as a parent, as you watch this, please don't start feeling guilty that you don't feel guilty. But I think it's pretty true of, of all of us that we, we feel tired and guilty. And the last thing you need is someone telling you, here's one more thing to be guilt, feel guilty about, that you're not doing family worship together. That's the last thing you want to do. But I am passionate and convinced that God works powerfully uh, as families draw together, open up the Bible, pray together and marvel and treasure uh, in the person of Jesus. So I want to uh, think, um, how might we be able to do that uh, well together? Uh, we're putting together some resources every week at Holy Trinity that will help you as a family on Sunday um, to do a time of family worship. But let me first give some tom top tips in how to do family worship together. Uh, I think the, the key thing you, we're wanting to do as families as we read the Bible and pray together is that we might marvel at the person of Jesus, that we might treasure who he is. That's, that's the big aim. So if you're going to do that, three S's I think are key. Short, sharp and simple. Uh, keep it short. It doesn't need to be too long. Keep it sharp to the point. What's the one big thing you want to get across? and keep it simple. It's not meant to be an inquisition with lots and lots of questions that where children are trying to guess what's in the head of the parents. But think about using open questions that help you together to, to marvel at Jesus. What, what do you really like in, in this story? What questions have you got from this story? What, is, what does this passage teach us about God? What does it show us about how great Jesus is? And it's, it's not about parents doing a study on children, but together for the family to marvel at Jesus. So, uh, so parents, uh, do you say what, what the passage means for you? What, what does it show you about how great Jesus is? What, what is going to be different for you as a result of looking at this? Um, think about using props. Uh, they can help. I think music can be can be really powerful. Think about play, playing a song and, and singing along together. But at its bottom line, what are you trying to do? Draw together as a family and marvel or treasure at the person of Jesus. So keep it short, sharp and simple. As I said, we're, we're putting to, together some resources that um, you could use as a family uh, Sunday by Sunday. We want to make it as easy as possible for you to, um, to do this. Um, here's how to access those. If you go to our website, trinitynorwich.org, uh, at the top, if you go to where it says children and youth, and then click on the sub uh, heading children 0 to 10, then you'll see on the main page there uh, some family worship resources on the on the main page. We'll be emailing out about that in our, our Friday uh, email, but um, for future weeks, just go straight here because we're not going to flag it up in the email every time. Thanks.